these lights. Wow. Let me tell you, having to uh, come in with your hands full in and out of the, uh, the chicken houses into the control room and then have to flip those light switches on with your hands full trying to go in through the doors, that can be a real hassle. I want to give you guys a, a little tip on what I do and how I work to just not worry about that. All right. First of all, I seldom turn these lights off. It almost agitates me when someone does in my control rooms. These two LED light bulbs, when you do the math on it and figure out what it costs per year, we're, we're spending somewhere around $3.50 per light bulb to never turn these lights off. So I just, I kind of like leaving them on. It's worth that extra $7 a year for me to never have to battle flipping that switch. When I come in, and I'm having to deal with bucket fulls of birds, my hands are full. That's just a, a, a tip and a trick that I like to do. Now, some of you may absolutely just hate the thought of these lights burning when you're not in there. And that's $7 a year that it costs to leave these burning all the time, well, that, that might be something that just makes your, your stomach cringe. Well, let me give you a couple of other tips and possibilities that something that you won't have to come in and fiddle with the light switches. If the thought of leaving these lights turned on all year long and spending $7 a year to leave these lights burning continuously, if that's something that, that turns your stomach, you're not the only one out there. My wife is agitated with the fact that I like to leave these lights turned on all the time. To me, it's totally worth it to not have to come in in the dark and find that switch to turn it on, especially when my hands are full. But I've got another tip for you, another option, another way that you can, um, you can not have to worry about that. I simply went on Amazon and found some infrared light switches. I'm gonna probably install these here pretty soon in my control room. Basically they're motion sensors and you've probably all seen them in, in bathrooms. I think I paid like six or seven dollars a piece for these. Super easy way so that when you walk into the control room, bam, your lights come on. Doesn't matter if your hands are full, full of buckets, full of grabbers, full of dead chickens. Whatever you've got in your hands, this will make it come on. You don't have to hunt for the light switch and flip it on. Oftentimes our hands may be dirty too. That light switch gets nasty if you, your hands are nasty. So having to find that switch all the time and flip it up and down, that can be a hassle. This can be a good way to mitigate that problem. All right, now we just talked about the motion sensors inside the control rooms so you don't have to go in in the dark. Let me give you another tip. If you don't already have a motion sensor outside on a floodlight, you should get one. You all know that when you come to your farm in the middle of the night, and that happens all the time, lots of times you're in a rush to get inside, it's awful to stumble around in the dark. Lots of times it's not a perfect, nice, flat atmosphere walking from your vehicle into the control room till you get onto the feed bin pad. So having a motion sensor light that comes on as soon as you walk up, that is absolutely a great, simple, cheap method to help protect yourself and your investment when you come onto the farm at night. Okay, so we talked about using the motion sensors inside the control rooms. We talked about the motion sensors outside. Now, let's, let's make sure that everybody understands this is, this is one of the, the most important safety tips you can use on your farm. You all know that nobody um, is free from accidents. We all are prone to bump into things, trip over stuff, and when we, when we uh, are coming up here in the middle of the night, it's easy to, uh, to not be able to see some of the hazards that are here. Plus, if you've got motion sensors on the outside, it helps your, your feed truck drivers as well when they come on the farm. If they spill some feed, it helps them be able to see it to help clean it up. Hopefully they'll get it cleaned up so you don't have to. It helps you to keep from tripping when you walk through the doors. It's, there's a lot of things that it can do to help you make your life better on the farm, and that's our goal. Thanks, and have a great day.